And the Clark County School District is paying a search firm six figures to find a new superintendent for the fifth largest school district in the nation. So let's hash it out with the help of our friend Rachel O'Brien from Open the Books joining us live. And Rachel, um, I can only imagine the dollar amount here and it sounds like they're paying even more than they originally had slated. Yeah, so the school district hired the firm Hazard, Young, Atia and Associates in May to find candidates to replace the former superintendent, Jesus Jara. So that firm has already billed the district 74000 since June, according to invoices uh, from, from the district. So 25000 was a down payment to the firm. Almost 30000 was paid so far for the associates' expenses, um, flights, hotels, cars, meals. Then there's another 10000 to hold focus groups, almost 10000 to create a community survey and for advertising for the position. Um, the firm will get at least another 35000 when they present their slate of candidates to the board. So that brings it to a minimum of 110000 when all is said and done. But, but it could be much higher. The firm's fee... Uh, is 20% of the superintendent's pay. Um, so they could get another 20,000 if the district pays a new superintendent up to 4, uh, 400,000. They said they're willing to go up to 400,000. So that would be 130,000 for this firm or more if there's additional travel. And Rachel, is this standard operating procedure? You look at these sort of searches all throughout the nation. Have you seen something like this before or is it unusual? Um, that's a, this is a lot of travel. So, um, in terms of, in terms of that, that seems to be a very high figure. Um, this particular firm did say when they, um, applied for this, when they put in sort of their bid to the school district that, um, you know, they've worked with other large school districts before, uh, Atlanta, Memphis, Los Angeles. Um, it doesn't say what they charge those districts. So it's unclear, but we do know that in the, the past for Clark County specifically, the last two times they needed to find a superintendent, they did hire a firm, uh, same thing, and they paid um, to hire Jesus Jara, who just left. Uh, they paid a firm $48,000 in 2017 to find him, uh, $60,000 to another firm in 2009 to find and hire uh, Dwight Jones, who was before Jara. So it, it seems a, a bit high. Um, again, I think it's based on all of this travel. And the district sort of did opt for these add-ons. Again, this, the um, focus groups, the advertising, the community survey, the firm is charging for all of those little things. And then finally, before we let you go, I believe the original plan was to have this person selected by November 1st. Well, here we are November 8th, and we're not even close to getting that done. Do you know why the delay? Yeah, so um, you, your viewers may know that the trustee, Katie Williams, she resigned uh, from the school board because she doesn't live in the state. It was revealed she doesn't live in the state, and so she can't be on the board. So that her seat was vacant. Then, of course, there was the election on Tuesday, and more than half the board will be replaced in January. And so the search firm has said to the board, look, these candidates are telling us that they are concerned with being hired by one board and then working with another board. So everyone agreed to wait until the new board was seated, and they will pick their superintendent at the end of March. That makes sense. Rachel, thank you. It has been a week. Yes, there was an election Tuesday, wasn't there? Have a wonderful weekend, and we will see you again next week.